We are just about to start period number three. For those of you just joining us, perfect timing here tonight. The Rocket have put on a clinic offensively tonight, now leading 5-0. Musa quickly over to Hall. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by McMichael. Into the corner now. From behind the net. LaBelle's got the puck along the wall. Reaches out and uses the stick. Taken along the wall by Holtz. Cuts to the front. Oh, who got all that? What a save by Wolf. A player should never be left alone in this slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes a save. And he takes a shot. And that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Johansson's been off his game tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes, and he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the puck, I mean, the forwards have to contribute offensively, and they can only do that if there's a sense of urgency to their game. Good use of the body on the play. Oh, he's going to keep it out. The Comets gain possession. continue to attack here now right Cheryl yeah and they're gonna do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward you can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north moves the puck along the half wall oh nowhere to go but against the wall here's a short pass to Clark dismiss that chance inside his own end. Down the left wing, they gain the zone. A skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Utica's in on the offensive attack now. Fires it on net. That's off a stick. Takes a shot. Scores! Well, this is just a perfect screen. The goaltender can't find because the screen is looking back and finding a way to take away his eyes. Does a great job, and the puck goes in. The Comets are showing a little pride here in the third. And really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. And now he moves it to Char. Smart heads up, play to intercept the pass. Picking up steam. Here's a shot. Scores! Well, they needed something, and that clearly was something, Cheryl. That yeah, certainly was, and there's some pushback, but they're going to need to layer it because they've got to get closer than within two if they want to find a way back in this game. So much of the goaltending position is tracking the puck and trying to get the sight lines, James. And with only one player in front, you might lose it for a second. But if you outbattle and outwill the person in front, you're going to find it. Unfortunately, this puck, it beats him clean. Utica's clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. For the two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. Came up with a nice save. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high dangers. Oh, the and the scores as he taps it in on a second effort. Oh, I just love this play, James. I mean, you take the initial shot, but you follow it up, and you still have the eyes to find the puck and put it on your stick, and then bury your chance. That's a great play all the way around. Well, good things happen when you put the puck to the net, and this rebound comes right back out to him. But he's tracking, he's sniffing, he's hounding, and he finds it back to the net on the second shot. Utica's goal has suddenly tightened the gap here in period number three. Well, they're within one, James, and it's not enough right now, so they're going to have to continue 
the counter, transition quickly, but most importantly, retrieve the puck. That is critical to be able to possess it. Sarchuk's got the puck in his own zone. Holtz moves it ahead. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. A chance to shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Covers it up. We'll get a stoppage in play. Hamlin's been lighting the lamp with this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. Unica's got it in the offensive zone. Skates to the crease. Turns it away. I'm not sure how we saw this puck, James. I mean, he's screened. There's a ton of traffic, and he finds the puck to make the save. That one's a fabulous one. Face-off coming up here. It looks like there's a bit of a trend evolving with the personnel, Cheryl. I would say so. you got to get your offensive producers out there when you're trailing by one. And as a coach, you can wait too long. So I like this adjustment. You have to have your eye on the details of the game. And this is what's happening right now. The Rocket have taken possession of their own end. Quick pass to Mayu. Quick pass to Carlson. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Walsh. we got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Up by one, and you take a penalty, applying some pressure to the PK unit here as a power play as an opportunity to get the equalizer. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. A power play that can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And they get the puck out. Utica's got a hold of the puck now. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Here's a shot. Gets in the lane with the body. The Rocket have possession shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. McMichael's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Utica's taking possession in their own end. Let's it fly. And that's off target as it hits a body. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Utica's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks in a great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. And the puck has moved to a safer spot on the ice. Carlson standing up, ready to go. The Comets are still down a goal after the power play comes up empty. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything, and when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in, and... The whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Kudos is caught for the trip. And he's going on a trip for the penalty box. Possession of the defensive zone. They move the puck out of harm's way. 
takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. That'll do it for the man advantage. Phenomenal penalty kill performance on that one. Critical time of the game, James. Everyone wants to be out there and embrace that pressure. You want to deliver. You want to be that hero. And you get left with a big, fat zero. That's a tough one to take. Uticus ready to go on the attack. The Comets moving in. Shot! Oh my goodness, what a stop as he flashes the leather. Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time. And man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes a save. LaBelle's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they continue to lead late in this third period. Tries to feed it over to Smith. LaBelle's got it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. LaBelle's got the puck against the half wall. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Made the save on the play. Great poke check on the reach. LaBelle's got the puck in the defensive end. But sees the pass. Denied by the puck stopper. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position, square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. In the final moments of this period, one goal game here. 5-4 is where we sit. Thompson's running off the face up. Good fight for the puck along the boards. Approaching the final 60 seconds of this one. Moments away from puck drop for period number three. A perfect time for those viewers just joining us here tonight. The Moose have been in a barn burner tonight. They lead it 4-3. Here they come on the attack down the left side. What a chance, but can't finish. Now you got to make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. Long reach breaks up the momentum. 
Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Towards has been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. And there's the whistle stopping the play. The coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. take to the ice for the first time tonight on a one goal deficit on the power play now you have to take advantage you have to find a way to get the coverage moving and find good scoring opportunities and that's a solid clearing attempt on the play the wild have taken possession along the wall through the neutral zone now picking up steam good check frees the puck up and they get the puck out of the danger zone. Sends a pass over. And he takes the feed. Shot! Blocker stopped by the ball! Battle on Sister, loose puck along the boards. Oh, the ball is up with the power save! Grabs the puck. More time. He might have a step here. Got a hold of it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Dauphin. Manitoba's got it in the neutral zone. Scooped up along the wall by the Yankees. Gustafson's not been ready to get back on the ice. Iowa's gained the line and into the zone. He's got a stop. Toba's got it in their own zone. Good reach and a stick to knock the puck away. Puts it on net, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Battle along the wall. Knocked away in the offensive zone.
now, Cheryl. Well, the momentum has certainly switched. The energy is for the team that just scored the goal. They're up by one, but they've got to continue to press. Listen, if they have the puck, the other team doesn't get any scoring opportunities. Manitoba's got him along the wall. Iowa's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Works it across to Duro. Now he takes it over the line. Toss up the puck after that hit. Iowa's looking to break out. Moves around along the half wall. And he makes the save. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. And look at this pounder. Look who's right back out there for the faceoff. Well, I'll tell you what, it wouldn't have been me back in the day because I didn't score goals. I was always protecting the lead. But you got to get your role players off of the ice and you got to get your scores on the ice. And that's exactly what's happening here. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. And he lowers the boom there. Shot. Plus save by the goalie. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Iowa's been the better team tonight, in my opinion, but still, they trail here in the third period despite having the advantage in shots. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Simic's got it into offensive territory. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Comes up with a stop. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Past the halfway mark of this period, Manitoba's got a 5-4 lead here in what has been a thrilling display of offense. Picked up along the boards by McEwen. Here they come on the rush. Here's a chance. And puts it up the crossbar. And the goalie beat up high. But not the bar. Nash is having a tough one tonight, James. He's been at the right place at the right time with good timing, but unable to convert as it goes off the post numerous times. Who oh, gets a pat on that one? What a stop by Holm. Look at this attack here in the ozone. zone. Tremendous hit on the play, and that opens up some space. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Gains the zone through center. Here's a centering pass. Picked off in front. And the puck clears the zone. Iowa's ready to go on the attack. Handles the puck. Denies him. He got all of it. Takes that pass back to the play. Do it. 